Hello my friend, I will demonstrate you a tool which can make your work a bit easier. This tool can allow you to migrate your application from one chip to another even with different types of core. Everything of course only inside STM family. This tool will help you to set clock of your microcontroller, calculate power consumption, generate pin initialization code and have many other interesting features. I'm Adam Bensky, Embedded System Developer. So let's start. This secret tool, which have all the features which I previously mentioned, is STM32 cube. We have to know that inside cube we have two cubes. Is it a bit crazy? Well, it is. In fact, STM32 cube consists of STM32 cube MX and STM32 cube FX. STM32 cube MX is a graphical tool to create initialization C code. Inside of it, we will be working. STM32 cube FX is a set of libraries for a given core family and contains abstraction layer to allow maximal portability between different STM32 F FX families, middleware packages like RTOS, USB, TCP IP, and software examples. Okay, right now we can install Cube. We have two options to do it. I will show you both of them. First of them is installing standalone version. Second is a plugin version inside Eclipse based IDEs. In both cases, we have to go to the STM site. We can write in Google Cube STM and here one of the first links we are able to download the package with CubeMX standalone version. Good. After it, and here it is possible to run this exe file. I recommend also to to extract previously uh, this this whole package. And after it, we can run the installation. Okay. Uh, in fact, installation process should be performed with our, without any additional prog problems. You have to go through it and just do it. If you have any hardships, problems with it, uh, I recommend to check that your Java version uh, is suitable to your version of, of your uh, operating system. Good. Um, when installation of standalone version was performed uh, without without problems, you should be able to to run this CubeMX, and such a window should appear. This means that everything uh, works properly. Good. Um, right now I will show you how to install also a plugin version. To install plugin version you have to firstly download this, this file in similar way. You will find that out here. Good. After it we can uh, run our for example system workbench for SDM32. Okay, and here under help we can click install new software and then at the top add archive archive yeah. we can um, click on this file we already shown click OK mark it here and then you can click next and then finish uh, in case that uh, some field, uh, some uh, uh, information uh, about um, risk of uh, certificate um, 
you can ignore it and click just accept. OK, when everything will be performed properly, uh, add open perspective, other, and as STM32 cubes MX should here appear. Right now it is possible to, to open it. Yeah, in my case also it works uh, properly. Good. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye. If you want to see more interesting videos on this channel, you can support developing of this channel by leaving positive opinion under this video and clicking subscribe button. You will be informed about newest videos with tutorials or other interesting content.